All right, everyone. Head coach Peter Fuller here with Chattanooga Football Club. We're getting ready to watch Oakland versus Chattanooga Football Club in the semifinal of the fall championships for NISA. Let's get going and go CFC. As the game goes on, you can see some of the frustration right there with Darwin and Zeka. Darwin's probably made a run he doesn't need to make right there when he sees Zeka setting up to shoot. Probably needs to come into a, a secondary area for possibly a, a knockdown or a, a rebound. Great, great save right there, I believe. I'm not sure, did that hit the bar or was that saved by Alec? Um, let's have another look at it here. Um, yeah, I think he got a little piece of it and it's gone off the bar. Um, but uh, they are three strikers between Fondi, um, Rodriguez, and, and Jack McInerney are really an absolute handful. A little bit unlucky right there. Good service, um, good movement on the corner, and again, poor, in my opinion, poor goal, goalkeeping. Um, he's got to got to catch that. Um, can't leave that can't leave that thing in the six yard box like that. Um, Again, here we come again, um, uh, you know, and, and again, we're, we're getting, uh, at this point, we're getting later in the, uh, we're getting later in the first half, um, and we're starting to, uh, we're starting to get a little bit of a grip on, on the game, on ourselves, on our game, um, and, uh, and, and starting to create some things, starting to cause them a little bit of a problem. And I'm, I, I, I think a lot of teams would have folded the tent at this point and probably just played it out, said we've had a good run. Our guys at this point, I, I think, fully expected to get themselves back in. A great save by Red right there. Great save to keep us, uh, keep us in it. And again, terrific interplay between the two strikers, Rodriguez and, and uh, Fondi. Uh, Alec does well here, um, does very, very well against a top-end goal scorer. So, um, and obviously that would, have, that would have killed it off. So we begin the second half. Great ball by Hoff into Ian McGrath on the throw-in. As I said, we were gonna see that, that again. Uh, we talked about it early in the game on the ball that um, was played in that Darwin hit the bar with and post. Um, just an easy little flick. Goalkeeper gets caught in no man's land right up over the top of him. And we're two to one in 46 minutes. So we're, we're, we're in a great spot right now. Um, great opportunities for us. Um, and uh, we were fully prepared to start fighting back at this point. So um, really good, uh, really good finish. Um, so. Two to one, 46 minute. Looks like Chattanooga FC is getting ready to make a, make a run. Poor clearance here. Ball gets played through. Alec gets caught a little deep, tries to bang it forward. Boom, right into Fondi. And in the 48th minute, it is 3-1 Oakland. And that was, a, that was an absolute killer. Um, Probably Sean should have done a little bit better with that. Certainly should have got it up over that first wave of uh, opposition right there. And obviously Alex tried to go up the field with it rather than banging it out of bounds. And I think he got, I do think he got caught just a little deep in his goal. Probably not reading the situation quite well enough. And also a little bit of a, you know, fortunate bounce for them. Um, but it's amazing. A, a goal scorer like Matt Fondi, this is a great ball by Rodriguez, by the way. Um, just clips it in behind, finds Matt right there. Um, and that's what really good goal scorers and top end players do. They, they make their own luck. Luck's the residue of design. You make your own breaks, you make your own luck. Yeah. But we, we had opportunities here to do some things a little bit better than what we did them. Um, so um, it, is, uh, it is what it is. So 3-1. And again, we're at a juncture in the game after we've just made it two to one and gotten a bit of energy, and now we've got it sapped right up out of us. And uh, uh, Hoff has a great chance right there off of a 
knocked down on a on a on a flick, um, and just can't quite get his get his boot around it. A uh, bit unlucky there. Um, some some good interplay right here, and then look at this. What a finish! What a finish! A little bit of an awkward celebration there too. I don't know if everybody noticed, but. Uh, I think Ryan Marcano might have been the most surprised person in the world that he scored that goal, even more surprised than everybody else. Great job by Bement here to keep the play alive, and then uh, just a tremendous finish, tremendous finish. And uh, people ask me if I was if I was surprised. Well, of course you are. I mean, you you never expect something like this. But the but the other side of it is too, is. He stands out there, he's out shooting every day or crossing at the end of training with Richard Dixon and after most everybody's left, he stays and hits bikes all day. Most of the time, not anywhere close to that, but a uh, um, little bit of a tangle here, Sean Russell and, uh, and Jack McInerney, uh, uh, you know, I think it was uh, a lot about nothing. So, you know, we, we carry on, um, but, uh, um, but interesting, some, uh, some real interesting, uh, interesting stuff here. It was a, that was a great game and, uh, obviously we were gutted to lose it. Um, but we've got nobody to blame but ourselves. Uh, you know, we, we, we made some key mistakes against really, really good players and mistakes that we probably could have recovered from, um, you know, as the, as the game, uh, as the game wore on, um, had chances to, to, to recover. And we, uh, we, we did a lot, we just didn't do enough. So, uh, but I'm ever so proud of the team and, and everybody out there should be as well. This was a, um, a team that went through a lot, a lot of adversity. A lot of stuff that probably you people don't know about. Um, and we've kept it that way because we never wanted to make excuses. Um, I've, I've always asked the players, you know, to um, let's be honest with ourselves. Let's not make excuses. You know, players and teams that become good at making excuses are seldom good at anything else. And we really kind of took that as our mantra as the season went on. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time.